Greetings and welcome to today's session and thank you for subscribing to my YouTube channel and always following the latest updates and videos on this channel. So today I'm back with this CUBS ICT paper for September, specifically paper one. After reviewing the guide, I found out that some parts were missing and some points were not matching with the questions. So today I've come with the final guide today. So in this final guide, I've included most of the points on most of the scenarios, especially when it comes to item two, item three, item four, and item five. Item one was well answered answered previously so today let's dive into the remaining items and members whenever i say that find the guide in the video description or find the papers in the video description this is what i mean so when you are on youtube and you are watching a certain video for example you are watching this one if you are watching this kind of video make sure that you go in the video description. Where is the video description located? So here I can first skip the ad. So as you're watching this video, you go here on more, below the title, click more. When you reach more, you will find details that I put in the video description, link to the PDF papers. So when I tap there, I should be able to access these papers. So when you open September Cubs paper, you should be able to download these papers even other videos so for example you are watching a video on website designing as you are watching this video you click on the video description here come and click on more so when you click on more you find other sources for example more videos related on the same links to download the support files and the softwares they are there so please that is the video description that i always talk about so today we are starting with our item one again so you bring the introduction and the introduction we say it carries one mark then you go and list your point flatly explain your point where need be explain it with examples so these were the points on item one which we looked at it last time so this means that sarah needed these items and so after mentioning them this one scores four max and then when you go to ict maintenance so go and maintain your tools so mention the point flatly explain it mention it flatly explain mention flatly explain so this one also four max then when we go to conclusion also one mark then the format of the document one mark so that one gives us our 11 marks then we got item two item two the scenario was uh tasking us to uh to basically talk about uh what caused the failures of the system of the it system infrastructure in this hospital so you bring your introduction and then from there causes of system failure and the solutions power surges explain your point then the solution by bringing up the power supply then lack of maintenance failure to do software update and cleaning hardware leads to malfunction solution schedule regular updates and do i mean regular hardware cleaning and software updates then uh, virus infections people are bringing an authorized usbs how can we prevent it install an antivirus and also restrict external device access these people are not doing backup and so we can say there is absence data backup and then the solution we implement automatic regular backups and on site for example regular backups can be on hard disks or in cloud storage then how do we protect the ICT infrastructure from cyber security? One, we need to install firewalls. We can do data encryption. We can implement the use of strong passwords and maybe a two-factor authentication or maybe biometric devices when it comes to physical security. 
we can as well put security cameras then we also need to train our staff about cyber threats like phishing and safe use of ICT tools then we need to do regular audits like periodic security audits and penetration tests to identify vulnerabilities so that is how we are supposed to answer part b so this one carries four marks the conclusion one mark so please take time play pause this video and notice all the changes that we have implemented so item two also carries 11 marks including the format of the document total 11. then item three we are looking at the dangers of using ICTs and then also how best can these students uh, serve the internet uh, safely. So dangers, we are looking at personal safety because they are using public Wi-Fi and so information uh, is unsecure on public Wi-Fi. We can tell them to avoid entering sensitive information like passwords while they are on public Wi-Fi. There is tracking while on a public Wi-Fi. So we can tell them to be mindful when they are on a public Wi-Fi because people can identify what they are doing online and their location. They are likely to get malware infections because hackers may spread them through these Wi-Fi's. So advise them not to download files and click suspicious links. Then so this one would give you four marks. Then here we are looking at tips to stay safe online. One can use a VPN to protect data from hackers. You can also avoid sensitive transactions when you are on a public Wi-Fi. Then turn off automatic updates so that you prevent automatic, sorry, turn off automatic connections because public Wi-Fi's are not secure. Then use secure websites which have HTTPS, that is hypertext transfer protocol, secured. You can also update devices and the antivirus so that you, you protect against vulnerabilities. Then also we can engage students with practical demonstrations by showing them how to install VPN and also disable automatic Wi-Fi connections on their phone. So basically, also tips to stay safe, we are missing in the previous guide, and also dangers were not clearly highlighted. So here, we also give our conclusion and the format of the document, and this one will also carry 11 marks. Then let's go to item 4, where we are supposed to guide John to create a simple sales report and then send this report as an attachment on the email to the headquarters. So we begin our introduction. Once the introduction is, is stated, we can now use our knowledge of Excel to create a report. Step one, open Excel. By clicking start, you can launch Microsoft Excel. Click blank workbook. Then in row one, let's put date, put product, put quantity sold, price per unit, and then total sales in E1. This is how our table can look like after entering the data. So this, we have entered our data. After entering the data, we can now calculate for, we can use formulas to calculate for totals. Uh, that, is, uh, that is quantity sold times price per unit. So that's how we get the totals by using that formula. We press enter and auto fill that is a drag to the next of the uh, rows. Then we can also add the total summary by using that function. Then after we save our report, click file, save as, go to the desktop, create a new folder named October reports. Then save the file as October sales report.xlx and then from there we can now send it to Gmail. Step one, we can open Gmail by going to www.gmail.com. We log in with our email credentials. On Compose, we can now 
create a new email we attach our sales report uh, whereby there is that paper icon representing attach you browse the desktop in the folder then click your file you open to attach from there draft the email to the headquarters subject october report so the body uh, you are saying dear manager kindly receive our report attached best regards john so send the email after confirming everything is okay click send so with this information we shall have guided john to submit the information so this is at least our conclusion and then we also had our introduction and then here all this will carry six marks so that means that in total this one will carry eight marks so we can now go to item five where the circle needed to apply for a grant through the government portal so we give our introduction where they can now we can now give the steps step one uh, we are going to access the portal by browsing using chrome as a tool we go to the website and download the application form once the form is downloaded we can start filling it using a pdf editor like adobe acrobat then we start filling in our details e.g cooperative's name the number of members grant amount e.g this and the project description once we are done with this we can also attach supporting documents we need to scan them e.g financial records using a scanner or a mobile app like cam scanner we save them on the desktop in a folder after we submit the application here we shall upload all the completed forms and the documents that we scanned we review everything then we click on submit after that save the confirmation save the confirmation receipt by either downloading or you can take a screenshot then how do we secure our information while we are applying one we need to ensure that we use a secure connection ensure that the url has https then we can also avoid using public wi-fi during submission we can also encrypt sensitive data by use of passwords in a pdf tools like adobe acrobat then we, we need to do regular updates and antivirus software installation on our computer we should ensure that we have an updated and latest software and also run an antivirus scan like kaspersky or notion before uploading any documents more to that we can do backup we save all the files on an external drive or on a cloud storage like google drive for safekeeping then from there we can have our conclusion which takes one mark then here we expect to earn our six marks route and then plus that one gives us eight out of eight so here at least you have given a full guide please members keep subscribing to my youtube channel share with friends to have this final guide you can as well click in the video description so from this very video click in the video description so when playing the video then are you a low skilled worker looking so when that one you can even skip the ads you can skip the ad then as you are watching your video click on more scroll down you will see link to the pdf papers when you click there you should be able to find all the papers there click cubs paper from there download this one the detailed guide has been put and even the supporting papers plus the support files so members keep subscribing share to your friends and also remember to order for the new books that are available especially for website designing and any other books for the new curriculum thanks and jabres